When most people hear the term cyclone, they think about tropical cyclones like Yazzie or Tracy, the ones that cause huge damage up in um, tropical parts of Australia. But actually, cyclones can happen all around the world. And there's a type of cyclone that happens just off the east coast, between about um, Fraser Island in Queensland and about um, Wilson's Prom down in Victoria, which we call east coast lows. East coast lows cause a lot of different impacts. They cause very heavy rain down the east coast, which can cause um, widespread coastal flooding as well as flash flooding. They also can cause very strong and persistently strong winds, which cause um, downed trees, downed power lines, power outages. They also cause very high seas, which can lead to things like shipwrecks in the Stockton Beach in 1974, for example. And they can cause serious coastal erosion with beaches worn away, or in the case of April last year, sand moved off the beaches and onto the streets of the city. But they're also important for other reasons. Big East Coast lows can cause widespread rain all along the East Coast, and this is really important to our dam levels and our water security. So the Pashabolka storm alone in June 2007 caused a really big increase in the dam levels in Warragamba catchment, which had been going slowly down over several years before that. One of the interesting things is that they're not really influenced by those big climate drivers, um, El Nino and La Nina, like a lot of our other weather systems. And this is part of why places along the east coast like Brisbane and Sydney don't really see the influence of ENSO on their weather like places further west of the divide do. On the other hand, places like Melbourne and Adelaide and southeast Australia get a lot of their rain from cutoff lows and fronts that come out of the mid-latitude westerlies. So those are the areas that get, can get strongly impacted by changes in ENSO and also the Indian Ocean. East Coast lows are most common between the months of April and August. And that's when we've had all those really big East Coast lows that we remember. So in April last year, there was an East Coast low that caused 44 hours of consecutive winds above 50 kilometres an hour. A massive flooding in Dungog and the Central Coast. And even further back, so in June 2007, there was an East Coast low that caused a ship to get beached up off Newcastle. But actually, they can happen at any time of year. So they are most important during those winter months, but we have to keep an eye on them all year round.